obviously on chums. Well, there's something you ought to know about your high-flying lover boy over there. Deck, no! Deck, this is low even for you. <laughs> no, 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 tell me what it is, Deck, and what is it? Captain Les is really... <gasps> really... No! <gasps> really... <gasps> really a nice blow. What? Did Deck finally agree to let me go? Did Ant keep his job as Anta Claus? Find out in this week's episode of Chum! <laughs> Chumsy film going at 43 in a 30 limit, getting three points on its license. I know you're in there and I want my rent increase money. Oh, what are we going to do, Ant? Mr. Floppetopolis wants his rent money in my skin. Check your pockets. Ah, okay. Oh, no money. I don't remember putting a cocktail sausage in my pocket. Oh, well. I've got nothing, man. I've got uh, nothing. What about you? Nothing either. Oh. Didn't you get any money from that Santa job you had last week? Yeah, but I had to pay compensation to the Alpha Beetle. Oh. Do you know what? This is going to require all my skill and espionage training from when I was with the army. How long were you with the army? Two hours. Just long enough for them to question me about that stolen tank. Oh. Watch this. Right. We're not in. Oh, when will you be back? Later. All right, bye then. Bye. Hey, brilliant, well done, mate, well done. Hey, that buys us just enough time. <laughs> I thought you were going to carry on. No, I was massaging me thought. Right. That buys us just enough time. Full stop. Yes. What, you mean to uh, get the rent money together? Uh, no, I mean to get our fancy dress costumes for the parties. The party? I forgot all about the party. Hey, super, uh, yeah, super, super. Yeah, that'll be fabulous, sweetie. Yeah, totally. It's going to be fantastic. I'm going to have a few of my air hostess phone friends around. Yeah, it's going to be really swanky. No, I don't live with any northerners at all. No, good heavens, no. Yeah, I'll see you later, okay? Ciao. Bye. Ah! Hey, 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 who was that? Wrong number. No. Oh. You ready for the fancy dress party tonight, and cut? Are you it? Uh, oh, yeah, the Christmas fancy dress party. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, you see, I won't be able to go. You see, I'm not feeling very well after my fall. What fall? This one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. God, cut, are you all right? Uh, uh, oh, no. Sit down. No, no. Sit down. Uh, uh, that was nasty. Any broken bones? Uh, I think I broke, broke, my, I broke both my legs. Uh. Oh, you just sit here and... You just have to sit here on my own and, and you go to the party. Cut! Cut! How could we, as two of your chums, leave you here and go to the party to fend for yourself? Oh, when you just fly me, we'll go, for goodness sake. I'm fine! Hey, it's a miracle she's standing! Hallelujah! No, 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 no. I haven't got two broken legs. I've got two broken arms, you see. My brakes are moving all over the place. Look, look how I try and pick up this magazine. Look, this won't work. It won't work. Go on, just go off to the party. I'll be okay. Well, I guess you're calling. Bye, Carl. Bye. Bye. Oh, the pain. <laughs> oh, I do hate lying to Ant and Deck, but they are terribly uncouth and northern. If my fancy new airline friends knew that I was northern too, it might hinder my chances of promotion. I've got to hide all my northern past. That's what I've got to do. It's Neil Morrissey, everybody. <laughs> Hello, hello, sister cat from Birmingham. Oh, no! It's me, Neil, your big brother. No! I've come to stay with you for Christmas. Oh. Hey, wow, posh flat, really nice. Not like what we got in Birmingham. I mean, this one's got a roof, and it? And it's got a window, mm -hmm. and it's got walls. Yeah. I'm so glad I got this script this morning. <laughs> No, you can. I did well for Oh, yourself. yeah. I'm I really glad that. you're doing well for yourself. Well, Big Brother Neil, it's really nice to see you, but I'm expecting company. Oh, so I'm afraid you're going to have to... No, that's great. Great. I can't wait to meet some of your lardy da posh pals. I can tell them what life was like for us in Birmingham, you know. Lardy cakes for breakfast. How was it the mum made them again? Yeah, she'd take a big slab of lard. That was it. Yeah. No, no, Neil, I'm afraid you can't beat them, actually, um, because I've just remembered something. And do you remember? Do you remember? Uh, we were so poor that we actually had to go to the ex-army store to go and buy all our clothes. I mean, my combat trousers were all right, but you had to go to school dressed as a Japanese admiral. <laughs> You're not going to tell any of my friends any of this. I, I think I'm going to have to. Why? What? <laughs> <laughs> 
Someone point. <laughs> oh, what? Because they are all dead. Now, you've obviously had a long trip from Birmingham, oh, so come yes, on, Oh, yes, I Mr. have, I have. I came all the way by Whippet. Now, you can't get me on these newfangled steam trains. Now, if God had meant us to go on rails, he wouldn't have invented rail tracks. Listen, Neil, you've obviously had a long journey. Come on, off you go. Go and have a lie down or a shower a or shower? something. A shower? You've got a shower? Yes. Oh, the only showers we had in Birmingham was when Grandma sneezed. Oh. oh yeah. Neil, for goodness sake, get Sorry, out. Gosh, I will. I'm going. Ow! little something about it, either that or uh, something's just died. No, 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 it's, it's actually, I, I had workmen in a little bit earlier, but don't worry, it'll pass. Speaking of which, did anyone see those two scousers on the 815 from Heathrow this morning? What for the pair of old badgers? Oh, they're rough. I would have stopped in deep in my, deep in my cargo bay. Did I tell you about the first letter to ask you? Yes, look, these two northern girls wanted to know if we were going to experience any turbulence. So I said, Listen, sweetheart, if you don't break my heart, I won't break yours. I bet the old was just lost on him. <laughs> You're not laughing. <laughs> oh, yes. That's very good. Very, very good. Yeah. I'll just put some music on. Oh, oh no. Oh, fantastic. Oh, oh yeah. You see, we thought that if you couldn't go to the party, we wouldn't go either. We'd just come home. Yeah. Oh, Excuse no. me. Um, your vest dressed very strangely. Is this a fancy dress? No. No. no you see, our costumes didn't arrive, so we just wore the first things I came to hand. Yeah. Oh. Hold on a cotton pick in a second. Hmm? I know what's going on here. You haven't broken any bones, have you, Cat Dealy? Hmm? No, I haven't. I see what's going on here. This is a surprise party for me and Anne, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is! Oh, yeah. and I, bet, I bet if we went to the other party, nobody would have been there because we would have all been here. Oh. Oh, surprise party! You're a little tinker, you know, yeah, like, yeah. you're a little trickster. Oh, yeah. 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 Who's here then? Let's have a look. Who's here? I Who's don't here? think of much of their costumes, man. They've all come as air horses. I bet they're dead embarrassed. <laughs> Actually, I'm a near steward, if you don't mind. <laughs> well, wait, you're quite a broad fella, aren't you? You wouldn't be too bad, sweetheart, as a bit of a trolley, darling, would you? No, not where we come from, mate. And we come from, it's unnatural for a man to serve coffee to other men. Uh, unheard of, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's simply not done. Mm. And so tell us this, where do you come from, hunky chunk? <laughs> <laughs> where from, mate? Like... <laughs> what are you doing, man? Sorry, misread the sign. Uh, I know what I'm saying, sorry about that, mate. I was saying, me and Declan, we're both... Whoa! It's time to play hide and seek. That's what we were going to do. We were going to play hide and seek. It's very, very good. Hide and seek. That's a bit stupid, isn't it, Kat? No, no, no. Come here, come here. Not the way these girls play it. For every hour that you hide, they take off an item of clothing. Your turn to hide. All right, then. Listen, we only have to hide for ten hours and they'll all be down to their boxes. <laughs> to the wheelie men. Come on, let's go. Oi, sis, you won't believe it, but oh. that door is absolutely stuck fast. I had to climb out the window, go down the drain pipe, and come back round, and come in the front door again. Oh! Hello, Anton Jack. Hello, dear. Oh, are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? Hey, oh. you never told us your brother was down from oh. Birmingham, Kat. Your brother from Birmingham, Catherine? Is there something you're not telling us? Catherine? Sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Tell us. Are we really to believe that you're not from Knightsbridge? <laughs> that you're actually from Birmingham? And that you live with these two Geordie Ruffins. <laughs> yeah, Kat, and I'd like to know why you've been trying to get rid of us all night. Yeah, me too. It, it's like you're, I don't know, um, ashamed of us or something. Yeah. Yeah. No, could this situation get any more embarrassing? Rent! It's been spent. Damn that landlord's comedy timing. We're not in! Later then. Oh. Kat and sweetheart, yeah. just explain yourself. The question. Yeah, Kat, explain yourself. Yeah. Well, uh... Um You're not dying, you're not oh. dying. Snap out of it, will you? Uh, well I don't know what to say, do I, eh? At least this couldn't get any 
only worth oh, a... Oh, oh, actually, I nearly forgot. that someone else has come to see you. There she is, little girl. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> well, she kept back blood quiet, didn't she, boys and girls? What a pickle she's in now. How on earth is all this coming?